this video was made for the basic fluid mechanics course in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of South Florida. Today we will be looking at how Bernoulli's principle is used to explain how planes are able to take off from the ground and transport people or goods thousands of feet in the air. Bernoulli's principle can be simply stated as an increase in fluid velocity occurs, the pressure decreases and vice versa. Looking at an airplane's wings, specifically the airfoil, which is the cross-sectional area of the wing, can best explain how Bernoulli's principle is best applied to flight. A quick description of the airfoil is that the front part of it is called the leading edge and the back of it is called the trailing edge. When you draw a straight line with these two points, you get the core line. With the flow direction and the core line, you are able to get the angle of attack. By changing this angle, it shapes how much lift is produced on the wing. Here we have a model plane to help demonstrate the lift and drag forces. Lift and drag are being shown here based on the airplane's airfoil. As we can see, the more we increase the angle of attack, the more lift there is and more fluid is deflected. We can then see the opposite is true when the angle of attack is decreased and the plane gets pushed down. Based on the design of the airfoil, the top part of the leading edge has low pressure which is caused from the high velocity airstream acting on it. While this is happening, underneath the leading edge there is a high pressure which occurs from low velocity according to Bernoulli's principle. The pressure difference then creates the lift force to bring the plane upward. The difference between the velocities can best be shown by the flow around the airfoil as a combination of uniform rotational flow and circulatory flow as shown here. The airflow above the leading edge creates pinching in the flow which leads to more velocity above it but not below the stagnation point of the airfoil. The continuity equation tells us that a flow squeezed into a smaller area must increase in velocity and the Bernoulli equation tells us that when a flow moves faster it creates a lower pressure. Thus a higher pressure exists on the lower surface of an airfoil and an increase in speed on the upper level where the flow is being brought closer together. In conclusion, Bernoulli's principle explains how such a heavy object is able to take flight. The difference in pressure on the airplane's wing allow for a lift force to be created. The design of the airfoil was made to establish the change in velocities to alter the pressures around it. 